All right, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachagadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. So, this video is going to be entitled, They're going to Realize That This World Was Made for the Many. You know, they're going to realize that this world was made for the many or the unwanted, the uh, the deplorables. Now, I've been using that word <laughs> uh, a lot lately. Deplorable. Look that word up. Right. Because, um, you you know, right now the spirit is on this guy, Anton Daniels, uh, which when when you actually look into the receipts, you know, he lied, you know, he lied and said that. You know, because uh, uh, I was at the second camp, uh, the second GMS Detroit camp when this happened. But when you look at the feed on, on the main camp, main Detroit camp, uh, there was no one who asked him, you know, who, wh what are you? You see? So Anton Daniels tried to use the... The, the gospel to you know basically big himself up and really man it's just a a, a sense of uh, insecurity you know he, he has this wealth right uh you know he has a, a decent car or whatever i don't know how many cars he has um but the guy he, he wants to boast himself right so he oh look at these guys these guys ain't they ain't you know calling us out of our names calling us bums broke right but when you look at the receipts nobody even you know came at you that way so the you, that just shows you the kind of character this man is you see he, he uses other people as a um a stepping stone so to speak so that he can uh exalt himself scriptures say he that exalted himself shall be abased right you you think because you have some funds within this world you know, you're in a, a certain status or, or class or rank to these people that you can just step all over, you know, the profits. And that's not going to happen. Man. I wouldn't be surprised if something bad happened to Anton Daniels. I'm not saying, you know, I wish any bad on the guy. I don't care about him. I really don't. But when you when you mess with the the men of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shai, and it can be the smallest thing. It can be the smallest um, offense. You know what the scriptures say. He that offend one of these little ones, right? It would be better if a, a millstone were about his neck. Yeah. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So I'm going to start here. This is Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. You see? <laughs> ye have received your consolation. Now you you you've had the you know some wealth. You got you got some money, whatever, whatever. You live in the you know the the, the so-called good life. But what does that mean? What does that really mean? When we the scriptures say, let's go here, Second Peter, chapter three, and verse nine. Uh, I'm starting at verse eleven. Um, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of what matter of persons are you to be in all holy conversations of godliness? You see? So all of these things will be dissolved. Your money's going to be dissolved. Your car is going to be dissolved. Your house. You see? All of the different works that you have built in this kingdom. Your videos. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything is going to be destroyed. There is no... There is no... Um, uh, what's the word? Salvaging anything that's over here in Babylon you see and and, and uh, the elect when, when when the elect is beamed up into the, into them chariots they're not even gonna take their their bodies because we're gonna be changed you see these bodies have to be changed man so you boasting in these riches and these different uh, treasures that you have stored up on on this side is, is to no avail 
but you have received your consolation because now now that you have these riches not only is it a snare to you because when Esau Edom makes this MOTB mandatory you're going to have to choose am I going to give up all my goods my Porsche my house and my wealth and become a, a broke nigga <laughs> you see or are you going to compromise and take the MOTB so that you can continue in your in your so-called wealth your your F your your Federal Reserve notes FRNs which isn't backed by anything it's not backed by gold it's not backed by silver Verse 12, looking for and hasten, hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So the elements is going to uh, melt with fervent heat. The heat from what? Those missiles. World War III is, is, is hot in the pot right now, man. You got all the commotion, all of the, the back and forth missile shooting. From uh, Israel and Iran And you know I'm, I'm pretty sure Syria is involved Because of that embassy That, that the, the, uh, the Israel the, 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 the double The J double O's You know you gotta use code man You know that they, they destroyed that That Syrian uh, embassy I haven't really heard anything <clears throat> Of excellent uh, uh, You know Excellent Damn, I can't even get the word out, man. Escalating. Right? I haven't heard any new uh, things of, of escalation from, you know, those events. But I, I do remember that Israel went into uh, Rafa, if I'm not mistaken. Right? So, what does that mean? That means that they're not stopping. The scriptures say the least of the flock should draw them out. So, while all of this prophecy is coming to, coming to pass, you're blinded by... That, that little bit of the, those crumbs, those crumbs that you that you you collected off of the rich man's table, because it ain't shit, man. You know, compared to what these elites have, man, we don't we don't want what the fuck you can obtain. We want what the elites got, man. We want the the earth. The scriptures say that the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So what does that mean? It's going to be taken out of their hands. The scriptures say that the saints are the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever even forever you see you have a you have a low mindset we have a regal mindset and you think just because you can ride down the street listening to whatever the fuck you say you was listening to you know you just got it like that but guess what there's going to be a time where there's going to be all hell breaking loose in these streets you're not going to be able to ride through Detroit, downtown Detroit, cruising, you know, listening to Sade. You're not going to be able to enjoy that nice, fancy house that you think you have because you're going to have people trying to break up into that motherfucker, man, because they're hungry. That's what the uh, second Ezra say. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. For a lack of bread thereof. You see? Go to uh, Second Ezra's ninth chapter, and this is just through the Spirit. You know, I didn't have anything lined up. Uh, this is Second Ezra's chapter nine, verse twenty. So I considered the world, and behold, there was peril because of the devices that were coming to it. And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a great of a cluster and a plant of a great uh, great people. So that cluster is the nation of Israel, and that great is the elect. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept, and my plant, for with for with great labor have I made it perfect. You see how the, how is the Lord making that great perfect through this ministry, through the gospel, the prophets teaching, feeding the sheep. So through the Spirit, we're being purged. We're going through the fire. The scriptures say that that you know through the furnace of adversity. God damn. Somebody passed out over there. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're being purged. We're being cleansed. So that when the day of, of, of reckoning comes, so to speak, 
the day of reaping, because you know the scriptures say that the, the harvest is ripe. Thus the nice sickle. When the time of reaping comes, we wanna we wanna be on, on the, the Heavenly Father's good side, man. You're not on the Heavenly Father's good side right now. Talking shit. Trying to boast yourself in in in, in, in this light as if you know we, we was coming at you sideways. We don't even know you, man. Don't give a damn about you. Don't give a damn about all of these people. The scriptures. Let me grab that because that's what uh I quoted. Oh, let me do this. Boom. Second Ezra nine, or Second Ezra eight and one. And he answered me then. And he answered me saying, "The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few." You see. So if you got a lot of so-called riches and you know different vehicles and, 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 and uh, jewelry and, and you know just fans and whatever. That's because you 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 are part of the mini. You've entered into the broad way that leads into destruction, man. But the world to come is for few. The world to come is for the elect. The world to come is for for the nation of Israel. Starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Verse two, I I will tell the assembly to. So he's going to tell you a similar to, Ezra, as when thou askest the earth. It shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made. When you look at earthen vessels, you got pottery, clay, you know, you got different, um, you know, some, some, you know, some vessels is literally made out of mud and dirt. You see? But little dust that gold cometh. You see that? Little dust that gold cometh. Even so is the course of of this present world so when you going into the gold mines and things like that you trying to dig up you looking for gold you don't really find that much gold it's just enough just a handful you might be able to make a bracelet or a, a necklace right now in the time of solomon he had he had hella gold you know but we're not in that time in the kingdom man we're gonna have we're gonna have everything man so we don't have the glory in, in a fucking porsche we don't have the glory in some you know funky ass hoe who 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 was not a, a virgin, you know? Because you know Jake Jake used these women as a, a a sign of validation, right? Whatever, man. We know what the truth is. We we know what we have in store. And if you don't repent, hey, it wasn't meant for you, you know. Stay on that side. What what Joshua say? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So this is something quick through the spirit. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.